All right, let's talk about one program I cannot live without, and that's the bulk rename utility. If you haven't used this for renaming files, I uh, highly suggest you do that. And one reason you might want to do that is we've just updated the ZBrush for Ideation 2021 version. So you can see on my RStation page, uh, ZBrush for Ideation series, it should be 300 plus video series. So when you're talking about lots of files and having to rename stuff, uh, boy, does this ever come in handy. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. There we go. And on my Gumroad page, uh, it's all been updated. A lot of files in there. And you can see if you go to the link of the new files, we have updated videos and new videos. So for example, say in unit four over here, I've got a new file number 19 that kind of got stuffed in the middle of here. And one of the options on Gumroad or QBrush or ArtStation is you can just download the updated 2021 content only. Might save you a little bit of time. However, if you do that, you're going to have to rename some of these files. For example, if I go to my previously downloaded Unit 4 folder, 1 through 18 is fine, and then 19 is Zero Mesh Hard Surface, which is now 20. So I've got to make some room for this. So that means 19 through 34 need to be moved down one number. They need to be 20 through 35. Pretty easy to do. I'm going to right-click this. I'm going to say Bulk Rename here. And that's going to launch the bulk renamer and everything's already highlighted. If it's not, you can just go through here and say 19 through 34, select them. And you're going to see we have a name over here on the left and a new name over here on the right. So as we start making changes down here, these are going to start updating. And then when we're ready to make that official, like rename all these, all we got to do is go down here and click rename. So really easily, I can go over here to remove and I can say remove the first three because I'm going to get rid of those pre-existing numbers here. I'm going to go back here and renumber them. So there's a numbering area over here. I'm going to say it's a prefix. So the numbers are going to be always at the beginning. And it went ahead and renumbered them for me, 1 through 16, because it's going to start at 1 by default. Uh, but there's no padding. So if, we, if we're in Windows and we're looking at these, it's going to put 1 next to the 10, and I don't want any of that. So I'm pretty religious about my padding. I usually pad by 3 for any numbers I use, which gives me up to 999 numbers before I need to worry about my padding not working anymore. Of course, if I want to add padding later, all I got to do is go over here and rename it with more padding. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to say one, two, three. That's going to give me three padding, which is essentially how many zeros go in front of, for example, one. So zero, zero, one, instead of just one. Now, of course, we don't want it to start at one. We want it to go from 18, skip 19, and then do 20 to whatever. So we're going to change the start over here to 20. And now you're going to see we left room for uh, 19, so we got 18 and then 20 through 35 now. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to hit rename. When I go back into Windows Explorer, boom, there it updated, and now I've got room for 19, which if I go to the updated 21, 2021 content only, go to Unit 4, there's 19. I can move this right in here, or copy it, and there we go. We've renamed all of those. Now, if you're going to be doing this for a lot of different folders, you can go up here to File, Save As, and you can see I have a renumbered pad three bulk rename utility file. So if you're in here and it's, you know, you have file new and everything's all cleared out, just ready for you to tell it what to do. Uh, all you got to do is go in here to file open, go ahead and grab that. And that'll go ahead and start removing the numbers, changing the prefix and allowing you to go through here and update this, whatever. Now, of course, we've already renamed this, so we don't need to do this again. We'll go ahead and close out of there. Now, another thing I'll use this for, let's go back into, we'll use unit four as our guinea pig here. Uh, I can, again, right-click here and go to Bulk Rename, or if I want, I can just copy this path up here, Launch Bulk Rename Utility, just paste that path right up here, or of course you can navigate to it over here on the left-hand side, and now we're in here. I'm going to go ahead and go here to File New and just go ahead and clear everything out. And I'm going to select everything, because what I'm going to do is, let's say I need all these videos to go to my CGMA class, but they require a different type of format for my file names. No big deal. I can go ahead and keep my file names, but what I can do is, let's go ahead and remove those numbers. I'm going to type in underneath prefix over here, because the file name is fine. They just need a bunch of stuff up front. So I'm going to say, they need my name, underscore, name of my class, underscore, what week it's for, underscore, video. And then now, now there needs to be a number. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to numbering. I'm going to say, go ahead and start at one. Go ahead and pad it. Two, so I have a uh, instead of like video one, it'll be video zero one. But now I need to know where to put this. So what I can do is I can say over here where it says at, I can just click through here, and you're going to see that number is going to move through the text here. So you see that O one is slowly moving through here. So here at twenty, you're going to see it went through all of our prefix and appended zero one to the end of video there. So all the way through here, under the preview, you see we got Mike Pav ZBrush Week Zero Video One 
through 32 or 1 through 35 keeping the file name and if I like what this is doing I go here and hit rename it'll rename all these videos and then I can just copy that off to CGMA for them to go ahead and post and again if I like this I can go in here to file save as and you can see I already got a CGMA rename and number uh, already ready for me there that does these actions and of course if you want to reset this just file new and I'll go ahead and reset so there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. You can do a find and replace. You can remove any portion of your pre-existing file name. You can add prefixes, suffixes, add the date to the file name. Numbering is a prefix, suffix, prefix and suffix, or tell it where to insert, what number to start at, what padding. You even have Roman numerals down here. And probably a whole bunch of other stuff I've never even used in this program. Basically what you've seen is what I use it for for 99% of what I need it for. So you can see how powerful that is to go through and quickly rename either entire folders. Just go through here and hit Control A or little blocks here. So, you know, 12 through 35 if you need to renumber them. You know how to do that now.